YouTube Dan Otto here coming at you with my team building series. It's this one using Granbull. And one of my most successful teams of all time was a Shadow Granbull team with Jellicent and Galarian Stunfisk. And I'll link that video in the description below so you can go check it out of why that team worked. But when you're using Shadow Granbull, Shadow Granbull is one of those Pokemon where uh, kind of like anything with a, a shadow plus a half, like a high uh, fast move damage. So think. Shadow Hitmonchan, think Shadow Machamp that I already went over. Shadow Machamp's a little more spammy with the cross shops there, but Shadow Machamp, Shadow Hypno, you're basically using the added shadow damage to just do bulk damage with your fast move, and then anything you get as a charge move is sort of a bonus here. So if you look at the meta here uh, in the Great League, you obviously have to take Altaria. As he's a little bulkier, Bastion, obviously you just lose. Uh, but the but the shadow comes into play into these situations where you can just shield once and farm down. So, uh, Cofagrigus, Drapion there, um, Frostlass, right? So that's the sort of, you're going to always lose a shield advantage to these situations. But how I like to play these matchups, and you'll see in these examples, is you basically charm as much as you can, shield the first move, charm all the way down, have a move coming out, and then you have a lineman in the back. I always cover what you're going to see here is I would say dominate darks, dominate fighting, and just get lit up by fire because that resists poison is obviously going to light you up there. So if you actually look at the total score, um, and then Glare and Stemfist and Skarmor your steals, I will cover that in one second. Trevenant, again, Trevenant, you flip that matchup if you are all shadow quite easily right there, right? So Shadow Gramble, even though 1928, I think that 541 is actually a better predictor because you're not really, when you're using Shadow Gramble, you're not really staying in these matchups indefinitely in the one shield. What you're doing is you're chipping as much as you can and either deferring that damage to Pokemon in the back, like the charge move to the Pokemon in the back, or you're just doing enough chip damage that your back Pokemon can just wipe up, which was spammy moves. So I will go over a bunch of examples of how to use this Pokemon. Uh, the first one I'm using here is uh, kind of... So with all these teams, you're just going to get led up by a couple things. Uh, poison, and obviously you can't do anything against poison. So that's going to let you up because you're fairy. But also you just get walled with the charms of like your Bastiodon and Glare and Stunfist and Skarmory's. So I'm trying to cover uh, those the combo in the back. So this is what I call a balanced team, this one. Uh, because I have both... Uh, Nine Tails, which can deal with all those Pokemon I just mentioned, and Trevenant, which can deal with a couple of them. So I lost the lead here. Uh, no problem. I will get out into Trevenant here. And I and not, because Nine Tails covers all of them, I want to use uh, Trevenant as a swap because then if you get like the if you get a Swampert in the back, you have at least one coverage for that. And even, like outside of just a pure Flyer, like a Noctowl or Skarmory, you you do okay with Trevenant as a safe swap. Even as the like a dark, you can just hit with these C bombs. So I got to move off on the register, I believe. I'm gonna get a C bomb bait off here. Can I get to another move? I cannot. So I'm gonna have to come back in with my gramble, which is okay. Like one charm is gonna sky attack. It's gonna hurt, but I think at this point I got to just save shields for my nine tails because I know I got a terrible matchup here on the lead against Registeel. So I'm gonna come in nine tails. As soon as they come back in here, um, I think I just gotta let this go and hope that my nine tails can sweep here. And it has a Venus on the back, so double weak there. Let's try and get something that's not double weak to fire. I will take that match. So as you lead, um, with this matchup, I am you lose in the one shield, but this one does not look like it maybe is fully excelled. And if they go straight for play rough here instead of just ice beam. I'm going to shield because anything would hurt, and it's play rough, right? So I think that now puts them in... I still got to throw a move. What this could do is potentially grab a shield or just take switch, and I think either's fine with me. And they shield, so maybe they're weak in the back to this. At this point, I'm going to double shield. Because I'm like, if you're staying in here and you're willing to throw that second move, I know I can just charm down, and I can get to a move here. So it's just a crunch. And now I got tough back line here, because I got... Um, so their defense lowers, so now I can just come and claw. And because their defense lowered, I can now just go 
seed bomb if I can get to it. But if they shadow bomb me, I'm gonna have to have my my uh, nine tail sweep here. And because their de their defense is lower, this is probably just a bone club. Still gonna hurt, but not terrible. Because bone club's not a good move. They are not getting out, so I'm gonna build up a bit. Throw the move here, and what is in the back here? As he was on the lead, so if we have something in the back, it is a Sableye. And if you get shields down, Shadow Nine Tails, which is coming up. I don't know if I like I've done a Shadow Nine Tails already. I just gotta shoot the video, so I don't know when I'm gonna post it. Maybe before this or after this. I've got one for Shadow Nine Tails coming. Where you start to get into trouble is with these tanky Pokemon that also spam. Cause guaranteed I'm gonna have to throw one shield up here. And maybe even maybe I don't I can't even get down to another one. So they already had a secondary move here. I just come in here because I don't think they can get to an earthquake. Can they get to an earthquake? I don't know. I, I don't think they could. So I shield. I don't think they could have got to an earthquake. Am I gonna get slapped with an earth? No, I was about to say that's just ice cool spear. So I'm down to shield and they have switch, right? So it's if you're gonna use and oh boy. I just gotta go for the overheat. Baiting the overheat. I don't know if that's a smart play. I think I should just probably go for it next time. Okay, so I do grab a shield, try and catch. Oh, and it's town flame. So this game is over. I am hard. I'm not hard. I'm character count on the back once I lost lead. So with Shadow Gramble, it's one of those things where if you lose, like go against a tough Pokemon in the front and you lose that switch, you're in trouble. So a second option is going like ABB style line where you're just getting out. You may do some chip damage and then get out immediately after, right? So they give it up to a dark poison. So I'm guessing this is some sort of ABB dark line. Um, I have, I, I don't know why I didn't come Diggersby. Because this, if this is crunch, maybe I'm expecting a Drapion in the back or something. I don't know why I didn't come. Either way, if they're, if they're dark poison in the back here, I should be okay. I shield once just to keep switch because i know this has no play against and a drapion comes in i'm not i'm surprised that it did not hard punch me with the trevenant because they could have easily punched me with the trevenant i guess the shadow claws are double resisted so you're coming in just to double resist and i've got a lot of energy and hp so even one seat bomb from that range may not take me out so maybe that's why um but now i got yeah there's your double dark even if it's a aqua tail i can still probably survive so this team works because you have two Pokemon in the back that are going to deal fine with uh, your Glaring Stunfisk and your Bastion. And why I'm saving shields is I don't really care about... My win condition is no longer uh, here. My win condition is now... I may shield this because I'm at a bunch of energy. Because now I'm almost at two Fire Punches. But basically my win condition was just going Shadow Gramble, pure charm there, right? Because uh, they're going to have to, so I'm going to throw a move here just to get chip damage. And now they're going to have to get to uh, likely a Shadow Ball because I don't think a C-Bomb takes me out. Because now I do so much chip damage. Look at how much those are chunking. They throw immediately because they know if they if they need to try and take me out. But this is not going to take me out. Uh, you're a little tankier than that. And one more charm just does the damage, right? So these ABB style teams is good at like drawing out Pokemon like this, but if it's on the lead, is not what you can do. And now I'm worried that if they have an answer here, they have one in the back here. So that's okay. Why I would always come bigger off is you can't really come Diggersby because you can just hit, hit with like an Altaria or something in the flyer in the back and you're just in trouble, right? I would only be able to throw fire punches here and that's not a good scenario. So I'm trying my best here to win Switch because I cannot lose Switch here. If I lose Switch here, I think the game is over. So I was able to shield once. I know I'm going to get another shield back here. Because they're likely to double shield as well. Or shield this one. Not double shield, but shield this one. Just to get another move off. I'm going to have to shield. Is this low enough for me just to farm down? What is their move count at? Yeah, so I was going to say, it is low enough to farm down. And out comes a Azu, which is tricky now because i need my ground i cannot put my diggers beyond it but the worst case scenario here is they can basically just farm to 100 energy because these body slams counters are resistant these body slams are doing okay chip damage but not enough so they are basically I should, maybe should have thrown that just to do more chip damage because then i could have i could have uh 
So now I just got to come here. They're immediately going to switch. Now I'm immediately going to switch. And the problem is, because they already have a little bit of energy advantage, two Earthquakes is probably going to take me out from this range, even with an XL. So I got to build up to an Earthquake. I just got to go for the Fire Punch. Hope that the second Earthquake does not take me out, that I can get to another Earthquake. Hopefully they call the shield. Okay, good. And now, is this Earthquake going to take me out? It's going to be close. But at the same point time, so it doesn't take me out, which is great. At the same time now, I got to get this low enough that the Azu doesn't get a ton of farm. Because if the Azu gets some farm here, I'm in trouble. Take that out. Azu's going to get a couple farm, and then they're going to have at least one move, maybe two moves. They need two moves. Unless I got a Hydro. I, I assume Ice Beam play rough, but somehow, oh yeah, there's the Hydro. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. If it was Ice Beam or Hydro, I think I probably could have lived that, but you cannot live a Hydro Pump. So you're you're definitely glassy. So if you lose your shields, you're in trouble. So the other option is obviously cover your weaknesses, but still have a couple Pokemon in the back just that do fast move damage. And I've shown this matchup here. They can only go Seed Bomb. You shield once, you win this matchup with ease. So I'm always fine in this matchup just shielding and taking this down because you're going to come out with energy. You're going to come out with switch advantage. If something like a register, this comes in, you could, I could have thrown a move there and then be able to like through a, I actually should have thrown a move because you can fake the close combat and just throw a crunch there or throw, throw a throw in, in the anticipation they won't shield. But I basically have two answers for this in the back. So I got one shield. That's basically all I need to do. This can take me low. That's fine. Registeel is what's happening here. Was that were they delayed on their time or were they just bugged out there? And they double shield. I don't love that move. And a toxic croak is tough because toxic croak is half poison, so it's only gonna be neutral. But at this point, um, I don't think it matters too much because you're still taking neutral from these and neutrals. I got shield once. Hope that I can just farm charm down. I probably need two more. I'm just going to throw the crunch because I don't know. Ow, because they also just threw... Do they have a move? Or because I have the Shadow Machamp that it won't matter, right? Counter user, cover your Reggie weakness. If they throw here, I should be able to get to another move on the Gramble. Or maybe even quite honestly, Charm down. They do hit me with the Focus Blast. I cannot get to him another move. It's now going to be Charm versus Lock on and Charm resisted. Does not matter when you're Shadow Gramble. <laughs> Same idea. Cover this one with... Uh, did I not do one with the... I thought I did one with Deox. Maybe that's my third battle here. But again, in these scenarios, I just kind of stay in. Charm. See what they're going to throw here. If they throw an Ice Beam, you may need to throw... Yeah, it is a Ice Beam. So they're going to take it. They're going to... If they want to take the one shield, they can. So I'm going to throw here. To put this low. Maybe take it out. Can I get the Charm through? I cannot. What a dumb... Yeah, okay. I've, I've played this a couple times before. And I know that happens. So I, at this point, I got a double shield. I just got to commit to it. Um, and out comes the Glare and Stun Fisk. So they got to throw here. But the good news is I have my Machamp, right? That's why you cover these weaknesses in the back. So Machamp can now come in, start smacking here. They are not getting out, so I'm going to grab one shield. Do not know why they're not getting out unless they're running like a stun, like a double steal in the back. And I catch on... And I, so that was good, good recognition there because I kind of like, okay, if you're staying in here, you do not want whatever's in the back to see my, what is happening here? Why, why would you not come in with that immediately? <laughs> okay, this game's over. I do not know why they did not come in. Yeah, that's so weird. Why are you not coming in? So unfortunate catch that in the ending there, but Deox lead, this one I put Deox in because I, I think my champ was just a little too glossy for my liking. Um, shield anything because it's likely a psycho boost and bail. And now I can keep switch and it's a greedent, which is great because I can now throw a move here. And what do I want to do here? Because I can I may stay in here. Defense fall. Yeah. Because crunch is resisted. They can only throw body slam. One body slam from this range isn't gonna take me out. I can maybe try and keep switch this. No, I can't keep switch now, it's too low. But now I can come in and uh counter down. Could be crunch will hurt. I already know they have a Deox, so the Deox is useless against my Deox and Sable because it's just neutral here and then Sable on the back. And what is on the lead? Or what is on the back, I'm guessing? They may come Deox. No, they're coming Shiftry. That is spicy. 
So I'm throwing this uh, just for chip damage because, and they gave up, they blind switch. Don't blind switch. I think why I threw that is because one foul, one shout claw, shout claws are resisted. Foul play is resisted as well. So those wouldn't take it out. But I think if you chip it between the counters and the psycho boost, you are now within, because the shift is so glassy. You are now in foul play range. Let's check that out. I may grab one shield here. Okay, so you're not quite, but you're low enough that it, you're now within counter range. And I think Deox is so tanky that I'm going to survive. I was about to say, they have to throw out, so I'm going to get to a move. I, I'm pretty sure that Deox can survive a foul play from this range, even from a shadow shift tree, which hits like a truck. I've already I've already covered shift tree a couple videos. Hits like a truck. Oh, just leap blade. If they had a foul play, maybe I could. Uh, that would have been close. That's those are teams and go check out my Stunfisk um and Jellicent team. You just need to like if you're gonna use Shadow Gramble, just know that for the most part, I like ABB where you can kind of just like relieve it. I also like if you have like two bulky Pokemon in the back, you can like I do like sort of like a Sableye Deox matchup where I just like chip a bunch in the front and then bail into one of them as like a safe swap, bulky safe swap. So those are ideas of how you use it. Uh, so that's it. I do have Shadow Ninetales coming. I do have Altaria coming. Uh, and let me know what other Pokemon you want me to see in the series. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.